We're here at WTSA, the World Telecommunications Standardization Assembly being held in New Delhi, and I'm here at the WTSA Expo. The Expo is not necessarily a part of the day-to-day -day business of WTSA, which is all about convening all of the different stakeholders here to talk about standardization, but it is an opportunity for a number of different organizations and companies and entities to exhibit here and to get their message across and to get a little bit of exposure here to the delegates and we're going to talk to a few of the exhibitors. So we're here in front of Netaji Subhas, University of Technology and you. Uh, and you are... Sh I'm Shalish Mishra. I'm Shalish Mishra from NSUT New Delhi. Okay. I'm assistant professor there in electronics communication department. Excellent. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you're, you're, you're showing off here. Actually, uh, we are working in the field of RF and microengineering. So we are developing uh, different kind of 4G, 5G and 6G uh, antennas uh, for the MIMO antennas, GPS antennas uh, by using DRA antennas dual band and some green antennas by using the carbon fiber and some uh, antennas uh, for the uh, uh, aircrafts, aircrafts and these are the ceramic antennas. So uh, we are working in this area and uh, we are providing the consultancies uh, to the different content, uh, uh, companies for developing this uh, RF and microwave components. Tell us a little bit about the technology that, that behind this then. Uh, the technology behind is uh, uh, simply uh, dielectric resonator antennas, which we are uh, doing as a radiator so, uh, by the metallic inclusions. So uh, we are doing the radiation uh, for this uh, 3.5 gigahertz and 5.9 gigahertz uh, for uh, uh, vehicular communications and uh, uh, 5G access points. And these GPS antennas for L1, L2 and L5 bands for the high precision uh, accuracy of the location. And this is for the 1.45 gigahertz uh, antennas for the high speed uh, vehicles uh, for the communication point. What are you hoping to gain from being here at the WCSA Expo? Uh, so we are getting a more exposure and uh, different kind of uh, the people of the technical people from the different countries. So we are interacting and uh, we are getting some knowledge from them uh, and uh, we are interacting with some other different uh, companies also and we are uh, getting some uh, motivation from the audience uh, for our work. Thank you very much indeed and, and very the best of luck. Yeah. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. So let's move. So moving on, we're going to go through here and uh, this is core data, uh, and I see that they are doing one uh, M2M standard-based IoT solution for rural drinking water supply management, which of course is uh, extremely important. And uh, perhaps I could ask you, sir, a little to tell us a little bit about who you are. Myself, Deepak Shukla. I'm co-founder of Core Data Networks. So here in this model, we are uh, demonstrating how much water is being supplied to the village and what is the quality of the water. And if there is any leakage, leakage or wastage of the water, then with the help of IoT technology, we are actually uh, avoiding water losses. Great. So, so show us a little bit around your model here and perhaps we can do a few close-ups here. This is a service reservoir from where the water is being supplied to the, this uh, village. And uh, on the uh, service reservoir, we are monitoring the water quality and how much water is being supplied to the village with the help of flow sensor. And then this uh, water is being supplied to the households where we are, uh, with the help of this sensor, we are monitoring how much uh, water is consumed in this particular house and what is the pressure of the uh, uh, pipeline in, in the talent. Uh, so here we are monitoring if there is any leakage in between, then we will able to alert the concerned officials or public regarding any water wastage. It's a, it's a beautiful model. I'm just going to move out the way so that, uh, um, that our cameras can get a better, better look at it here. Here, you say this is the, this is the water tower. Yeah. And basically, the water tower here is uh, delivering, of course, the water through to the different houses here. It is already deployed in a district. Uh, for uh, more than uh, 5,000 devices are currently uh, monitored with the help of our uh, this uh, IoT uh, standard-based uh, platforms. And what are your plans for the future? Actually, we want to save water because water is a natural resource which needs to be saved and utilized properly. So that is the reason we are uh, monitoring the real-time consumption and real-time quality of the water and avoiding the water wastage with the help of this uh, IoT technology. 
It may be, of course, that there will be times where water, water will be used more than others, but you can tell the difference between a leak and, uh, or somebody leaving a tap on or leaving a hose on and uh, standard water consumption. Is that right? Yes. Uh, our uh, platform, this is our platform where we are monitoring this uh, water supply uh, system. So we have even implemented uh, the uh, AI ML based algorithm. Based on that, we will uh, able to predict if there is any uh, health issue is going to happen over the consumption of uh, contaminated water over the years. Then uh, government have th will have those data uh, to uh, strategize their plan uh, and their implementation in that local locality. This can uh, also be implemented in uh, urban area also. Here, we are, because the rural is a tough terrain and uh, no one actually uh, want to go to the uh, remote areas to implement these latest technologies. So we are impl uh, showing the toughest uh, implementation and uh, with the help of this model. Fascinating. Well, thank you so much for, for letting us stop by and wishing you all the very best here at the Expo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. So anyway, walking swiftly on, we'll, we'll come through to this company here, uh, Nam Infocom. Hello, guys. Uh, nice to meet you too. Uh, tell me a little bit about Nam Infocom and what you do. Basically, we are providing a based applications. Uh, totally, we have a few more uh, website for demo purpose. Now you can see that click to call application. If you have a browser, we send the URL link. You want to make a call, just click that icon. Right. So yes. can you give uh, us will... a quick uh, demo oh, here? Sure, sure. Now we have configured uh, this mobile number. Okay. Browser to GSM call. Yes, we have a call from browser to GSM call. Oh, here we are. Yes. yes. <laughs> So that's good. We've got uh, yeah. we've got the video conferencing excellent there. Yes. Too. And so your your product is called Click to Call. Is that right? Yes, Click to Call. And what are your plans for the future? Maybe plan for a maybe conference plan just like that. Thank you very much, guys. So moving swiftly on. Uh, hi, guys. So your Creonimus uh, Technology Solutions. Tell me a little bit about what you what you do here. Uh, sir, uh, we are from Kolkata. Myself, uh, my name is Ishan Kundu and my partner Ayan Ghos. Basically, we have uh, built, we have introduced a, a new a centralized care technology system which is based on our family, our family members, health department and security and surveillance. And uh, we have three modules. So uh, next, Ayan will explain. So uh, this is a wearable device. So uh, this is a, in, in a POC stage. So this basically has a SOS panic button. In case of any emergency or in case of any uh, dangerous situation, one can press this button and inform the local police station or their family members. Also, this is equipped with uh, a fall or accident detection in case they meet with accidents outdoors or even if our elderly members in the family falls down or collapses at home. And this is a medical box for the elderly of the family where you can put the medicines and it keeps track of whether they're taking it on time or not, whether they missed any medicine. And this is a, a small device which can be equipped on the doors and the windows of the house so that we can understand whether there's a break-in or whether there's any kind of intrusion going on. So the entire thing actually gives a peace of mind to the family members who are living outside their home. When are you hoping to, uh, to roll this out? So we have secured a government grant of 50 lakhs uh, Indian rupees and we have started the process of uh, finishing our R&D and within three months we'll be launching our product. Brilliant. Okay, well, we look forward to seeing it on the market. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. That was great and very useful with regards to uh, the pills because people tend to forget about them. And uh, that, that, uh, that is some, some, uh, a great technology, some great ideas. Thank you. Wish you the very best of luck. Thank you very much indeed. So uh, moving swiftly on, we've got here Gadget Smart Systems. Hello. Hi. Uh, so tell me a little bit about uh, what you do here. Uh, yeah, we have an innovative solution called RF Connect, which is used to collect data from remote locations and send it to a centralized gateway from where it can be sent to the cloud for further analytics or visualization or reports. So this RF solution is a unique uh, mesh technology, which is... Uh, which can go up to ranges of 20 kilometers and a data speed of 150 kilobits per second. And, and this, is, this is your hardware here? Yes, this is the uh, RF module, which the, the mesh router, which collects data from PLCs, any type of PLCs, using a serial RTU connection. And it can send uh, data over the air to the uh, border router, which will send it to a gateway. And from the gateway, it can 
transmitted to the cloud. So, uh, yeah, this is an innovative solution which is developed by Gadget Smart Systems. And uh, we have various use cases. Uh, one of our solutions is deployed in a railway station in, with Indian Railways. And uh, we are planning to expand on that. Excellent. And what are you hoping to get from being here at the WCSA Expo? Uh, we are looking to popularize the RF solution as well as our solution for RDPMS, which is a remote diagnostics and predictive maintenance system for Indian Railways. Brilliant. Okay, well, that's very, very worthy project and, and wish you the very best of luck with that. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And, uh, and this is GX India. Uh, hi, hi again. We were speaking before, Shivani. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you do and what your, your ambitions are. So we are into FTTH. We are the manufacturer of fiber to the home equipment. So we are having ONTs, we are having OLTs. ONTs are uh, optical network terminal and OLTs like the central equipment, the one we can see in the picture also. So these are the equipments we are the manufacturer of same and uh, we have a manufacturing plant nearby to uh, this area like Delhi. Uh, so it, it's in Mani. So we have design, we have R&D, we have everything in India. We are 100% making India product. And you got a beautiful post behind here project ecoverse carbon neutrality green sustainability and eco-friendly tell me a little bit about how you're achieving this so uh, actually this is our new project where we are more focused towards sustainability so because what we are producing right now is affecting our uh, nature as well so this is our green initiative where we are more focused uh, we are going to manufacture one of our product like we are starting this project so uh, first product we will be manufacturing uh, will be from the recycled plastic from recycled plastic? So, uh, yeah, gradually we will shift our focus uh, towards uh, ecoverse. Like, uh, again, uh, all the products will be shifting to that, but we are starting from one as of now. Very yeah. good. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about, um, in terms of the scale at the moment of your, uh, of your company and how far you've got in terms of rollouts, etc., of your products. Yeah. So basically, as of now, we are supplying to the largest telcos of India, that is Airtel. And uh, till day two, we have manufactured, we have designed more than uh, 50, uh, 5 million products in our plant. And uh, yeah, actually, what we believe, we are actually connecting India. We are changing lives of people uh, by connecting them because in rural areas, when we see, so we are working with lots of tenders uh, of BSNL, some government tenders like uh, Bharat Sanchar, Nigam Limited, MTNL, uh, where we work towards connectivity. So what we focus, whatever focus is to connect India. Well, keep doing what you're doing, keep changing lives, keep connecting the world. Uh, thank you very much for uh, spending a little bit of time talking to me. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for visiting us. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And finally, we're just going to stop here at IOTAS Solutions. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what you're doing here using IOT, oil and gas field automation. T tell me a little bit about uh, Hello, this. Hello, yeah. sir. We are uh, owner of IOTAS. IOTAS is an IOT as a services. And we are probably Indian startup company based out of India, our all product are probably developed, manufactured in India. We are aligned with the vision with, of Mr. Narendra Modi of digital India, automation and everything. This is the device of oil and gas field industry. We have implemented 5,000 devices in India and our proud that we have implemented in ONGC oil and gas of PAC of India of 2,000 devices. This device monitor the oil and well monitoring system where we predict what is the accuracy and what, when, what is the pressure of the wells, what current it is taking, what voltage it is taking, everything we are uh, analyzing and automated with these devices in India. And best part is that we are working for in a data science, we are for the predictive analysis, where we will predict how much the current it will take after three months, six months and six, seven months. So tell me a little bit about uh, the particularities of the oil and gas industry and about monitoring the production and monitoring issues in terms of the distances perhaps that need to be covered for that. Correct. So initially the major pain point of oil and gas industry was the well where in the remote areas and to monitor the well uh, physically was the major challenge for them and the loss of production due to the well uh, not running at that point was the major pain point of that issue. So we figured out that uh, this is the major factor that we can do with our IoT automation systems and all. So we have developed our devices 
where the owner of the wells at their ease can see what is happening in their well by the mobile app and software what which we have developed and all this data is connected to the cloud so they can easily manage each and everything yeah yeah so and perhaps you could tell me how important is standardization to the work that you're doing uh, so right now uh, in this device as uh, we are using 4g network right so uh, 4g we are planning to uh, go for uh, 6g for the device communication so device is connected to the cloud as it is a iot device now we are uh, using lora one network uh, in remote places uh, to communicate uh, with gateway and rf nodes are there so the yeah the standardization is important and yeah the speed which it device communicates to the cloud so the, the, to get the real time uh, view of the data what is ha happening at the site and to get the data in real time standardization is important the speed of the communication so is very important in that, in that case in which automation is sector where we need to improve day by day right so in this sector also we are putting our each effort in mo moving forward in each, each sector standardize our product in terms of connectivity in terms of product quality, in terms of minimizing everything and making the cost effective for our, the industry so that they can afford this. If someone is taking this product, means they should be in benefit by taking this product. So we we have taken this challenge as an uh, automation. Uh, we are the generation where all, all person are moving forward with the digital era. Excellent, thank you. So there you have it. So we've now had a little bit of a cross section of all the uh, stands here, and we'll visit some more perhaps later on in the week. And uh, we will catch up with you again very soon. But thanks for tuning in. If you want any more information, do visit our website, www.itu.int. Do check out our videos on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, and uh, our podcasts on our podcast channels too. So uh, thanks very much indeed for tuning in, and see you shortly. Thank you.